Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, you guys, we're going to take a look at some Jay Leno's Garage detailing products. Let's do it. All right, you guys, so in this video, we're gonna test out some Jay Leno's Garage products. I'm real excited about doing this. I've had these products for a little while. Chris from Jay, Jay Leno's Garage reached out to me, called me. We had a really long, about an hour long conversation talking about their products and how they got started and everything like that, which is a very cool story, you guys. Um, but they are now available in Walmart. You can go to Walmart and you can buy these products. So readily available to pretty much anybody, at least in the United States, you can go and purchase these products. And the prices are really good. They, they go anywhere from $9.97, uh, up to $20 uh, per item at Walmart, depending on where you live. The most expensive item is their Radiant, which is their silica spray sealant. Um, everything, that's $20. The rest of it, anywhere between $9 and $15 for the, for the other products, you guys. So that's the cool thing about it. You can go there and you can buy them. So that's why I was excited about making this video because we're gonna test out three of these products in this video, but eventually we're gonna test out all of these products, you guys. So in this video, I need to clean uh, the wheels and tires on an F-150 that I'm just doing a wash and a wax on. Um, and this is going to be the perfect video. It has a baked on brake dust on the chrome wheels. Uh, so we're going to use the wheel cleaner, which does have the color changing additive to it the, to remove iron particles, which is like on brake pads. Uh, so we're going to spray that on the wheels and we're going to agitate it and then rinse because I'm one that believes in agitation when you clean wheels. After that, we're going to use the all-purpose cleaner on tires. Now this does not say um, rubber, but it is an all-purpose cleaner, so we're going to test it out, see what it does. It may not do a great job. We're going to find out because it does say on the back that it's good for engine, engine bays, wheel wells, wheels, plastic trim, and tough interior stains. And then once we're done with all of that, I'm done with the detail, and I'm getting ready to ship it on down the road. We're going to hit it with tire and trim care. This is going to be your tire dressing, which it's a water-based dressing for your tires and for all of your plastic trim around the car you guys so you guys it is getting cold here in indiana it's breezy hopefully my microphone will be okay outside i gotta go inside and throw a sweatshirt on really quick before we go out um, but i want to hopefully show you guys before and i'm gonna show you guys me using the products obviously um, and then after that i'll show you guys what the final product looks like and we'll just go from there so let's get outside let's take a look at it all right you guys so let me show you what we're working with it is really windy out here that's the way it is in indiana um, this time of year and it's getting cold uh, it rained all day yesterday. This thing sat out overnight last night. That's why the wheels are wet. But let me show you what these chrome wheels look like right now. These tires have hit curbs, obviously. Probably not much I can do about that. We'll see what the all-purpose cleaner will do. I'm the only person that sees this car that cleans it, details it. And I did it up right out a year ago from today. This is probably the worst of the four. Look how bad that is. It went all the way through summer, every spring, summer, and early fall without getting clean. All right, you guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the wheels. And normally I don't do that. Normally I clean the tires and then I clean the wheels. And the reason I do that is because I don't wanna have my nice clean wheels and then get all the gunk from the tires going down the nice clean wheels. But for this video, since we're using an all-purpose cleaner on the tires, this can actually be a wheel cleaner also. I don't want to mess up how to see how this product works because this should turn purple, as you can see in that picture before and after, should turn purple. And I don't want to get the APC all over this um, and it possibly clean the wheels also, if that makes sense to you guys. So I'm gonna do this backwards in this video. I normally don't do it this way, but just wanna show you guys. Hopefully I got you guys set up in a good spot. Hopefully enough that you can see what comes off the uh, tire and wheel also, but it says to um, the direction say to rinse wheel with clean water, then spray cleaner onto desired areas to be clean. Allow 30 to 60 seconds for cleaner to penetrate. Do not allow cleaner to dry on the surface. That's because it has an iron remover in it. Agitate stubborn brake dust and road grime with a brush or cloth. Rinse thoroughly with clean water. I always, always agitate. I think if you want a job done right on any detail and anything you do, you gotta put a little bit of effort into it and spray and rinse products I don't really care for. So we're gonna spray it on, we're gonna let it dwell. And then after that, we will agitate it and see what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and get the wheel wet. Okay. All righty. Get the barrel 
really good. Hey, it actually doesn't smell terrible. You actually are able to put some type of uh, citrusy smell in it, scent. You can still smell the iron rivers, don't get me wrong. Let's make sure I get it all good. Okay, we're gonna let it dwell, see if it changes colors. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's not really changing purple. I mean, it is it is bringing a lot of the gunk off of it. I can see it kind of running down. It is turning purple up in this area. It's turning purple on the rotors, probably can't see that. Definitely turning purple in there and really purple down here. All that dark stuff is purple. But on the face of the wheel, I'm not seeing a lot of purple at all. Which I would think that that would all be brake dust, but oh well. Let's agitate it, see what it does. Some people like these, some people don't. I love it. And always pull it out slow when you're using that because otherwise you're going to take a face full of whatever chemical you're using. Been there, done that. Okay, you guys, it does turn purple. Look at the lug nuts. See the purple on top of the lug nuts? Hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm not sure. Maybe that's not brake dust, but I would think it'd be brake dust. Okay, put that in the bucket. We're gonna go over the lug nuts real quick. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right in the center with this brush. show you guys again it's turning purple in here all of that's purple all of that is purple it's just taking a little while to really get in this baked on brake dust you see the purple right there keep a clean bucket of water near you when you're doing wheels that are this bad you're gonna have to clean your your tools quite often yeah it's really turning purple now you guys it just took it a little bit. It took longer than 30 to 60 seconds. It was all right. Gotta let the cleaners work. It's filthy. It's getting my little foam brush dirty quick. Heck, these wheels are gonna look like different wheels by the time we're done with them, though. The guy can't do his own cleaning of his cars. He's an elderly gentleman, so. And he just wants to always do this once a year. I understand. Okay, I'm no, I'm gonna end up missing spots, but let's see what it looks like. Let's rinse her down. Like a completely different wheel, doesn't it? Hopefully, you guys can still see. Obviously, we'll dry it here in a little bit. We got clean tires still, but look at that completely different looking wheel. And I did miss some spots right there. That's normal. Check that out, you guys. Hope the wind's not messing this up, but that looks fantastic. You gotta remember, it looked like that. No shine at all to it. Go ahead and clean the tires. Tire, man, that wind's really picking up. It's cold out here. All right, so we're gonna use the APC. Um, this says spray on the surface and allow to soak for a few seconds and penetrate to penetrate dirt and grime. For tough and stubborn dirt, agitate with a brush or a clean cloth, which I will always do. I'll be using a stiff bristled carpet brush, is what I'll be using. It's what I always use for tires. Set for a minute. We'll see what it does to these white walls because they're pretty brown right now. 
the lettering. All right, get my brush wet. We're just gonna come in, we're just gonna agitate. All right, now we're done with that. We'll rinse her down. We'll back you guys up just a little bit. Oh yeah, it looks good. Make sure you get all the APC off the wheel. Very important. Oh crap, I forgot my giant aid. Hang on a minute. I only use this just to help me dry while I'm washing because I'll still go over the wheels again inside before I'm done with the detail. This makes it easier to dry though. All right, guys, I'm gonna blow dry it and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so the tires are not completely dry, but the wheels look good. Look really good. They're still a little wet, but I'm not really worried about it. That looks great, you guys. Tires look good. I do see a little bit of browning over here where it's starting to dry. But in the product's defense, it does not say it cleans rubber. I thought I'd at least try it. Did a great job on the white lettering though. White lettering looks fantastic. But once it's completely dry, we'll know, you know what it's gonna look like. And I'll show you guys once I'm done with all four wheels, I'll come back around we'll look at this tire and we'll see what it looks like. But did a great job on the white lettering. But there's a little bit of browning left. Like I said, no big deal with the wheel. It looks fantastic. That wheel cleaner did a really good job. All four wheels and tires are done. The wheels look amazing. It did a really good job on the wheels. Tires, the white walls look good. Still a little bit of browning. But on the left side, because I, I like to experiment, I let it dwell longer. I'll show you guys what that looks like. It looks even better. This one looks good. Still a little browning. I mean, they still look way, way better than they did. That looks good. Up here, I let it dwell longer, the all-purpose cleaner. It does a great job on the white walls, though. You can see not nearly as much browning other than right in here. So, you let it work longer, it works better. That's why we make videos like this, to experiment and see how it works. So, wheels look good. I'm going to finish the detail. And when I put the tire shine on and the trim code, we'll put, the tr put on the trim also because it's tire and trim. I'll turn the camera back on. All right, you guys, so I'm done with the wash and wax. Now I'm down to just the trim and the tires, and it's ready to kick it on down the road. I use the tire and trim care. Just gonna put a little bit on a foam block. I like that right there. I'm gonna show you guys the difference this makes. Even on this plastic that's still pretty much new, it just enriches it. See that? how much better that looks. So that's why I do it. It doesn't last forever, but it does leave it protected and it will be hydrophobic when water hits it for a couple weeks. It is a water-based dressing. If you get it on any of your paint, trim, or your glass, just take a microfiber towel and wipe it down. Because trust me, you will. If you want to get all of your stuff covered, like right there. Okay. And I'll just take a microfiber towel. I'm just going to go right down the paint. There. And then right down the glass. And bam. That mirror is done. Nice and rich. Black look. Even. Self-leveling. You don't have to worry about leveling the, this product at all. Looks good. Let's put on the tires. Last step, put it on the tires. I'm gonna kind of do like a 50-50 a if I can, the best I can. I'm just gonna put some on here. Kind of like that. Try to stop like right there. As much as I do like white lettering on cars, 
they suck the dress. As you can see, you can see where it's been curbed. There's zero you can really do about that. Not really hardly anything. Gonna leave a nice satin finish, it looks like. Which is what I always want. Now please don't mind these letters. They suck to dress. The only time I ever had good luck with letters on tires if you use a spray on product. Give you an idea what it looks like. One side versus the other. Nice satin finish. It is water based, so it's going to dry to the touch. That was good. We finished the tire. All right, you guys, it's done. Now, once I uh, put tire shine on all four, I'll either pull it back or pull it forward so I can get the bottom of the tire. Check that out. Makes the white lettering really stand out. Makes the chrome stand out. It doesn't outshine the chrome, which is what I want a tire shine to do. I don't want it to outshine my chrome. That looks really, really good, you guys. All right, you guys, so the truck is done. This is Jay Leno's products did a fantastic job on these wheels and tires. They look really, really good. Really happy with the way the wheel cleaner worked. It made easy cleaning, and man, these chrome wheels look amazing. They look so good. Look at that. Chrome looks awesome. So yeah, you guys. They did exactly what they are supposed to do. All right, you guys, so as you saw right there, the tires and wheels look fantastic. Very happy with the performance of all three of these products. Uh, no issues at all out of either one of them. Um, I wanna start from the left, work our way to the right, and we'll start with the wheel cleaners. That's what we started with first on the car. Uh, this is this is the wheel cleaner. This is how much I have left, about half a bottle. So I can get about eight, eight wheels out of this. I am known to use more chemicals than I probably should, or uh, go a little heavier than I probably should. If you are really good at saving your chemicals, you can probably get more. I just like to know that I'm gonna have plenty of lubrication on the wheel so I don't scratch them. So it doesn't bother me using a little extra uh, wheel cleaner when I do clean my wheels. Uh, this does turn purple as I showed you on the lug nuts and I don't know if you can see it in the barrels, I'll know when I edit. Um, and on the lug nuts you could see it, but on the wheels uh, where it's all baked on, it took a little while for it to start to turn purple, but it started eating it up, but it made removing all that baked on brake dust no issue at all once i got my my barrel brush out and my foam brush and my lug nut brush i don't put a ton of pressure down i just agitate a little bit we rinsed it off and they look brand spanking new they look fantastic you guys so this this wheel cleaner is good and the great thing about it is it's not overwhelmingly stinky as you normally get out of a wheel cleaner that has an iron remover in it they did a really good job at masking it it's not bad at all the all-purpose cleaner i use just for the tires as you guys know it's just below the label, so you can get a lot of uses out of this. It doesn't take a whole lot. And I cleaned all four tires, and I went. I always go around once one way, and then I go spray back the other way. That's I do that with all my cleaners, and I still have a lot of this left, so a little bit does go a long way. It really did a good job. It did pull out a ton of the browning. The tires look way better. The problem is they've been curbed. It's hard to make tires look good that have been curbed because there's really not a whole lot you can do with it because the rubber just takes a beating from getting curbed. But it did a really good job. It did a really good job on the white lettering. Um, it is made, it's not really made for rubber. It doesn't say it in the directions. I just figured I'd see what it would do. And now we know what this will do as an all-purpose cleaner on rubber tires, but it says it's for engine bays, plastic trim, um, wheels and wheel wells, uh, and interior stains, stuff like that. It doesn't say anything about rubber, but it did a good job. I have no issues out of that at all. And I think if you had a tire that was better taken care of, which most of us do, It'll have no issue at all making the tires look brand new again. What we got left now is the tire and trim care. Very good product, easy to use, it's self-leveling. Um, don't have to worry about if you oversaturate the plastic you're putting it on, it does self-level, no issue at all there. You don't even have to follow it up with a towel. Just make sure you follow it up as, around the paint, around the glass, around the chrome, where you rub your sponge because it's gonna get on there, trust me. No matter what you do, you're gonna get it on there, but it's no big deal, just wipes right off. The plastic just looks deep, rich, black, looks really, really good. The tires have a nice satin finish, dries to the touch, uh, no issues at all out of the tire and trim care, you guys. 
So I am very happy with the first three products that I've tried from Jay Leno's Garage. I can't wait to try the rest of these products and they will be in upcoming videos. I don't know how soon I'll get to using them guys, but I saw an opportunity here to use these three and I went for it and I'm glad that I did because they worked fantastic. And now you guys know when you go to Walmart and you see these on the shelf, because every time I go to any Walmart, I go to the detailing aisle and say, what do they have here? I always see these and now I know these are good. If I need uh, products, I can go there and they're not real expensive and you can just walk in and buy it and get home and start cleaning your car. You don't have to wait for it to come from UPS or FedEx or whatever is from a shipping company because you had to order online. That is awesome. So I want to say thank you once again to Chris from Jay Lemons Garage for reaching out to me, uh, making this video possible. I appreciate you guys watching the video and checking it out. If you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. We'll see you in the next video.